Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Nexus TV. This is Kainite. Long time no see. Well, more like long time no hear since you can't really see me. But um, here we have Nexus versus Embrace. Nexus obviously being the uh, current British team of the German organization Nexus here on the Dusty D Dust 2. As uh, it looks like the T's have gone for a quick T push here just to uh, warm us up. Release goes down onto Hive Lance pistol and the CTs obviously will have to rotate but look at this the T's waited outside long they're actually making their way towards the A bomb site now though is there a CT there is but he's been taken down and now Nexus find themselves in trouble it's currently five versus one what can Hoodsy G do let's have a look at him then he's making his way onto short I think he knows a bomb's gonna go down he knows it's there he's actually spotted the bomber but he's hiding and uh, Hoodsy G is gonna be in a lot of trouble here as he gets surrounded and taken down so Anexus, um, I wouldn't say Anexus are the underdogs, more like Embrace. Um, Anexus obviously featuring Release, Hoods G, Husey, Rattlesnake, MX. Obviously, ex top source players. I'm not quite sure who Embrace are, in all honesty. It'd surprise me if you guys, the watchers, knew who Embrace are. But, anyways, let's take a look at what's going on. This is the first time I actually shoutcast on uh, CSGO, so I'm going to have to try and get used to some of these new features they've given us shoutcasters. As we can see um, the terrorists are taking it a bit slow um, Darty watching outside of B Release is holding it by himself, MX holding mid and uh, the CTs, namely Nexus, playing long quite aggro, they should be able to hear what's going on here and MX will have spotted Pop going down mid or at least I think he'd have spotted Pop going down mid. Obviously, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with the game, money is a big factor, and we'll go into that a little bit later. MX has been tagged at mid. Nothing happening just yet, but it looks like the T's are going to make their way into long here. We do know that there's uh, two CTs there. We will have heard them now, but Husey gets one kill. Hudsey G with another kill. And Rattlesnake with the third. So, two, three on two, actually, in favour of uh, Nexus, who, who uh, had less money, had only pistols. So uh, Embrace could still very well turn this around. Unlike Flash there, and obviously they'll want to get the bomb down now. But <laughs> MX takes a kill to Godlike. And MX is hunting for this last terrorist who kills three. Well played, Darty. Took out all three Nexus players. And um, what could turn out to be an enormous clutch, to be fully honest. Because it means. Going back to what we were talking about regarding money, obviously every player starts off with 800 coins, or 800 dollars, as far as I can remember, and um, obviously the more kills you get, the more money you make, uh, the better guns you buy, better guns means higher chances of better kills obviously, so taking another look at what's going on at the moment. Clear that. Husey playing long by himself. Rattle holding A by himself. Looks like the CTs are doubling up mid with uh, release playing B. Uh, one thing we've noticed from Embrace, they've liked to work short. They try and use it quite a bit. So let's go and take a look at what they're doing. Dart watching B as as per usual. Pop and Hivelant making his way onto the A bomb site. I think they can hear Rattlesnake. They probably know he's there. As they'll prepare to push out now. Rattlesnake, they've seen him. He's thrown the nade. He has flashed Hive Lance, so uh, he will call the rotation now. Rattlesnake with a FAMAS. He's been flashed and naded, but he's actually alright. He knows that one of the T's is there, and the nades are starting to go on to short. Husey just holding long, and uh, Hive Lance with the first kill. Rattlesnake is being pushed here. Takes down one. Can he get a second? No, he can't. Decent takes him out. Husey, here's a terrorist coming along. Takes him out as well. Three on three. Um, slight advantage to embrace because MX is uh, quite heavily tanked but the bomb has gone down on A Godlike being uh, surrounded by two CTs is received back up now down goes release down goes Anexus two kills there by embrace and the last T the last CT sorry is going to be Hughes who is going to save probably uh, quite uh, an intelligent choice making his way back too long so what did Anexus do wrong there well probably gave away short too easily Probably rotated a bit too slowly. Rattlesnake, there's only so much he could do when you stood there on the ramp area. And now they're actually hunting Musi down. If I can figure out how to get out of the map, Musi takes down one. Well, he, will he take down the second? Pulls out his pistol, but no, Pop takes him down. And 3-0 uh, to the Swedes at the moment. But then again, the Swedes won the pistol round. The Swedes had the money advantage. So now, obviously, this is going to be where 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 Nexus's balls are tested, if you don't mind me saying that. Actually, no, it won't be, because...
because they lost that round. They took, they bought up on the second round, so they're going to have to pistol this round again, which on paper should be another round for Embrace. And obviously, Nexus won't want to give a lot of a lot of rounds away against Embrace, especially when Nexus is really here at the Prague Challenge. For those of you who don't know where Prague is, it's obviously in the Czech Republic. Jose G holding short by himself. This is obviously a LAN. One smoke going down mid. Let's take a look at what's going on. And it looks like we're seeing the usual. MX obviously has his pistol. He can't really watch mid, so uh, the uh, the T's are taking advantage of that. Hudzi G holding short. Release. Pushing into tunnels. That's quite good. Um, however, he spotted the rotate there. He spotted it. He's going to fall back now. I think we'll start to see some sort of rotation. Godlike with the first kill. And uh, the T's have made their way into the B tunnels. Release has fallen out of the bomb site. Rattlesnake, however, jumps off short, picks him up, and it's currently four on four as Darty makes his way into the bomb site. Let's take a look at what the CT's doing. It Rattlesnake and uh, Hudzi G making their way up, lowers Rattlesnake gets naded by Pop. Pop with that second kill onto Hudzi G, and now it's all down to Release and Hughes, who unfortunately, obviously, do have pistols. Release is just uh, gambling at the moment. He's being flashed. He spotted decent. Takes him out though. Husey with another kill. And the four versus two. Just goes to show how quick Counter Strike can change. Hyvalant there. Takes down release. He's going to look for Hughes. Spots him. Tags him. Actually, he doesn't. Hughes is running away. Smart choice again. It's two on one. Obviously, Hughes will want to save that gun. And no matter the looks of things, the terrorists also want to save that gun. So, another big round for Embrace. But um, my guess is that Nexus should be able to buy up. Now on this fifth round, if they can't, then they've got to take a hard look at themselves, and they can. So obviously this Nexus lineup, those of you who aren't aware of who they are, consisting of Rattlesnake, Hudzi G, Hughes, and Rattlesnake and MX. Sorry, obviously Rattlesnake. Some of you guys who are ex source players will recognise him from his days at Dignitas. Obviously some of the other players at Dignitas, but we're going to have a, a quick push into B here. <clears throat> as release is all by himself. Release takes down Pop. Release take gets taken down by a Godlike. Four versus four, actually three versus four. Godlike with the most recent kill on to release. Darts, we're following him now. Godlike nading out of window. The bomb will go down, obviously. The terrorists get money for planting the bomb. It's a quick B push, and they know that Rattlesnake is uh, hovering underneath that window area. Obviously, they've got the bomb now, down now. We'll see MX and Hunzi G making, making their way through the B side of the tunnels. Looking to surround the terrorists. They know one of them's there. They've been tagged. They've been hit. They're being gangbanged at the moment. Rattlesnake a bit... Can't do much with his orb there, but he's going to try and make his way. But it's not going to matter because release, MX, and Rattlesnake all go in huge, wiping out Embrace on the B bomb site. And that was the important round for Nexus. Um, a big round for them because if they had lost that one, then it would have put Embrace five rounds ahead, which uh, really would have meant that Nexus would have had to eco or deco again. Um, and obviously, pistols against normal guns. Uh, there's only there should be only one winner, but obviously it's Count Strike, and as we saw, anything can happen. So, but by looks of things, we're going to have two players going towards long, uh, be it the bomb. I think they're going to wait outside here, but we've got a, a quick B push. So let's take a look at release if we can. Release takes down one. Where are you, release? There he is. He throws that nade with his farmers. Takes down another. No, he doesn't. Takes down another. There he is. Darty <coughs> gets killed by release. Release currently against Godlike. He's got his pistol out. They both know where each other are. Release goes aggressive on him. He spots him. One bullet will kill each one of them. Godlike is it's, it's cat and mouse at the moment between Godlike and Release. Release goes down, but the bomb has been planted on A. Like we said, like we um, assumed, an excess of rotating quite fast. So uh, Hyvlar and Co. waited outside long. And um, what looked to be a B push actually wasn't Hudzi G there. Now it's Godlike versus Hudzi G. Could, what a shot by Hudzi G. Take a bow, son. How did he do that moving with his M4 and Godlike got taken down? Decent tactic by Embrace. We saw what they did. They rushed into B. Release was panicking here. Rattlesnake and MX rotated from mid. The bomber actually was waiting outside here. And uh, A rotated too fast towards the B bomb site and they came and planted it. So f as far as the terrorists are concerned, this is probably a terrorist sided map. The four rounds ahead, but it's quite even, especially against a team as strong as Nexus, for example. So, um, you know, as far as Embrace are concerned, they got the bomb down, so they'll have a bit of money. They're going to eco now by the looks of things. Looks like they're going to make their way towards Long. Um, uh, looks like Huzzy G and Hughes have more or less uh, sussed this one out as the flash goes in. As actually, that was a smoke. Huzzy takes down decent. Huzzy G with two kills. Huzzy G with three. Huzzy G with four. Showing Embrace how it's done. Fair enough, it was against an eco, but if you've got a player 
like Hoji G's caliber, an ex-MTW player, an ex-Dignitas player, obviously replaced Weber in this Nexus lineup. When you've got him watching long along with Husey, then uh, if you're a counter-terrorist, then uh, you you don't really have much to worry about. So let's take a look at um, this orc fight between Hivelar and Rattlesnake. Obviously Rattlesnake, renowned for his orping ability. MX currently holding the B-bomb site with release. However, the T's look to have made their way down to shore. What are they going to do here? The bomb is obviously outside along. We've seen we've seen Embrace trying to fake B quite a lot. MX is now holding more inside B um, with <clears throat> an Exis holding short rather than mid. Rattlesnake, instead of holding mid, he's holding long. And at the moment, it could go either way as Hunzi G is holding CT spawn. Let's take a look at what the T's are doing. Looks like they're going to try and make a short push. The bomb is at palm. They're taking it slow, actually. Nothing yet. It looks like the bomb is going down mid dark, just causing problems on the A-bomb site. Shooting left, right, and center. Trying to make noise. Godlike still holding the upper tunnels, making sure. So I think they're going to probably either go, go mid to B or B, because the bomb is in lower tunnels. Let's take a look what's going on. Again, release has actually moved out of B. So this could actually end up being problematic. They know Dart is on short. Husey can hear him at long. But the bomb is obviously in upper tunnels. Release is waiting, waiting uh, at the window. So uh, it looks like the bomber is going to go in being Hiveland, who is an awful. Let's take a look at what he's doing. It looks like it's going to be a uh, mid to B plus B push. Let's take a look at the terrorist pushing mid to B. Oh, actually, let's take a look at Release's view. Hudji G takes down Darty. They know that at least two of the terrorists are in B now. Release jumping in from the window. He knows that one, two, or three. Rattlesnake takes down decent. Rattlesnake and M. MX working together, MX with the second, and now we've got Pop by himself in that B bomb site. Can he pull off this 4 on 1? He spotted Rattlesnake. No, he can't. A uh, good kill by release. Takes down Pop, and Nexus have brought, brung this game back from 4 0 to 4 4. And it goes to show how much of a difference having uh, a decent amount of money can make. So, what went wrong that round? Well, you know, I'm not the Gary Neville of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Release dropped out of the B bomb site. Fair play to them. They took it very well. And looks like we're going to have a quick B push now. Release, let's take a look at him. Go on, Release. Release, he knows they're pushing. He's takes down one. Takes down two. Takes down three. Can he make it four? He makes it four. Can he make it five? Actually, MX got the fourth kill. Release was more than ready on the B bomb site for that quick eco push by Embrace. He couldn't make it five. MX... Didn't steal the fourth, but um, I'm sure release won't mind, as it's the round that counts at the end of the day. So here we have it, five rounds to four in favour of Anexis. A huge round for release there. I think that's uh, two four-mans we've seen so far. One by George Hudgy G. Hodgkins, one by Daniel Release Mullen. So... A, uh, a round where both teams have bought. Usually with the first kill of the round as both teams spar at each other. Looks like the CTs, namely Nexus, are playing two CT spawn, one mid. They're spreading back out now. OGG holding long by himself on the terrace. Well, Darty's already dead, so Pop is making his way into lower tunnels. Taking their time, this is the slow part of Counter-Strike Source. I think it's the part that not a lot of people like, but, you know, that's Counter-Strike global offensive for you. I know I just said Counter-Strike Source. The last... I used to shoutcast Counter-Strike Source. Forgive me for that. Um, but yeah, going back to Counter-Strike global offensive. Release holding the B-bomb site by himself. Decent and pop. The bomb is obviously on short. Down goes Hussy G. Um, but um, uh, <clears throat> Hurricane will be dropped as well. So Rattlesnake with the kill. Godlike is by himself. After waiting for so long, the round ends up going so quick with a short push. I think MX knows Godlike is there at the moment. It's just who peeks first as Godlike will try to peek. MX is actually running away now. Can Godlike get that kill? Good shot by MX. Who's take down Godlike. And MX has brought this back down from 4-0 down to 6-4. And that is what they're about. That is what Counter-Strike Global Offensive is about. You've got to work as a team. And now Embrace. Well, you guessed it. They don't have that much money because they bought last round. Actually, they will buy AKs. So, um... One player dropping for the remainder of them. I'm not quite sure why this new Counter-Strike Global Offensive um, GUI made, especially for shoutcasters, which doesn't allow us to view money. But let's take a look at what's going on. So more or less similar lineup. Re uh, release and MX, sometimes doubling up B, sometimes not. We've got Rattlesnake playing mid. I believe he's going to be orping. He will be. He's playing inside B now. Um, no, he still is playing inside mid. Sorry, is they going to make a mid push? Rattlesnake gets taken down by Godlike. And uh, release is obviously being made aware due to Rattlesnake's death about this possible mid to be push. We obviously have X-ray vision, so we know that's not going to happen. Darty is uh, preparing himself to uh, add to his list of kills. 
and hopefully not his list of deaths as he prepares to make him his, his way onto short. Obviously, he's got his mates behind him as they prepare this flash. We've also got um, Hivelar with the Yorp at long. Looks like he's going to go short as well. Flashes are going to start to go off, and these guys are going to have to start to rotate right now as the T's make their way into the big bombs. And they know that at least one of the CTs is there. They can't spot him. It's actually Hudzi G. Hudzi G gets taken down by. Uh, decent. Hughes is by himself at long. He has a, a bit of a clue that T is going to try and make his way through there. Bit poor by Hoodsy, but by Hughesy, sorry, but gets the job done. And it's three on four. For release spots one of the terrorists. One of the terrorists making his round shot. He knows release is there because his teammate spotted him. Darty takes down relief, and this could be Embrace's fifth round. Let's take a look at what MX is doing. He's on. He's got a bit of health. He's open from within pit. I think the terrorists know he's there, and Hughesy is just going to look to save that or probably give it to Rattlesnake next round. And. Um, Darty is going to get taken down by Hughes. But the problem with that is that they now know where his position is. So uh, Hughesy and MX. MX obviously holding within the pit area. The bomb goes off. That's going to be big for Embrace. Because uh, when you plant the bomb, you get a lot of money. And uh, when the bomb explodes, you get even more money. So close so far. Many will argue that DDoS2 is a terrorist sided map. Some will argue it's a commentary sided map. So it depends which way you look at it. Probably it's a fair assessment to just deem that it's a 50-50 map. Anyway, so let's take a look at how the terrorists are lined up. We've got MX. MX open now. He's playing mid. Where's Rattlesnake? Rattlesnake playing long. We saw him play a lot there during his CGS days. Especially on DDoS2. And uh, a bit of a fancy boost there. I've never seen that before. But then again, I don't play Counter Strike Global Offensive that much. Rattlesnake now is short by himself. He's being flashed. He's going to get pushed by um, one of the Embrace players. Darty takes down Rattlesnake. Probably a mistake there by Rattlesnake. Hoods D, however, exchanged the kill onto Godlike. Four on four. Hive Law is heavy tagged for Embrace. Looks like we're going to go for somewhat of a short push now as they start making their way onto the A bomb site. The CTs are making their way down from uh, CT spawn. But it's making their way up from CT spawn. But they're in a bit of a mess, especially with MX. Holding on to that um, up. Pop takes down Hudgy G. Uh, Hughesy. Hudgy G takes down Hivelar. And a few kills left, right, and centre. I can't keep up with it. Oh, Hudgy G takes down one. He couldn't actually get the second kill there. And it's 6 6. Again, Embrace was 6 4 down. Now it's 6 6. Anything can happen. And I think we'll be seeing a deco or an eco now from Anexis. So we could very well, on paper, we should be seeing this round. Actually, no, they're buying up. Um, actually, the previous round was a deco, wasn't it? My memory isn't all that good. Hopefully he'll improve a few more casts after returning to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. A few new guns as well that I'll have to learn le learn the uh, the names of. But um, no worries about that. Let's go back um, to this game release. Holding the B-bomb site by himself. Darty making his way onto short. I think they will have heard him. They know Hudgy G is on short. He killed Godlike by playing fairly aggro from there. So uh, Nexus will have the man advantage. MX is watching mid. Uh, uh, Brace will smoke mid though. Hoodie D with one, Hoodie D can he get the third of the round that we can't, but Hurricane is there to make up for it. Rattlesnake playing long with this M4. Not very often we see Rattlesnake with an M4, but you bet your life he's as good with it. Good with it as he is with his AWP. And uh, beautiful headshot there by Rattlesnake. On to decent and um Anexus get their seventh round. So Anexus would probably be aiming. Obviously it's a MR15 max round 15, best of 15, um, at least for this half, until both teams swap over. Um, so Nexus will be looking to probably get 9-6 here. That'll be ideal for them. Especially on uh, probably what they might consider a T-sided map as well. Anyway, we're seeing an eco push into the B tunnels. I'm not sure whether they're going to go for it. No, they're not. They're taking it slow. However, we do have a CT who is mid. Dart will have heard him. He's taking a look at short, but Rattlesnake, let's have a look at what Rattlesnake is doing. And Rattlesnake could go huge here. Oh, he missed, he messed it up, but he will throw the nade. But if Rattlesnake got taken down, I think that's going to have to go on an error. To go down as an error on Rattlesnake's behalf. Release gets another kill. Three versus four. Ruin Nexus have the weapons. Hudgy G takes down Pop. Hughes he takes down Hivelar. And the last terrorist remaining is Darty. Who has made it onto B without no one actually spotting him? He's still got 100 HP, but I think release has sort of guessed that he'll, that Darty will most probably be in B. Darty does have the bomb though, so he's probably going to try and get the plant, but Husey has got it covered. An 8 6 to a Nexus as they rack up the points in this first half up against Embrace. Swedish team, obviously, as we said before at the Prague Challenge. So let's take a look at what the T's are going to do now. Have they bought up? I believe they have, but they've got their knives out at the moment, so I can't quite tell. Four of them going towards B. Um, and Nexus actually looks like they're going to push long. 
No, but they do have two playing at long. Now it's currently three playing at long. Rattlesnake and Hunter G changing over. Hunter G is actually now take, um, uh, taking over that short. And looks like the uh, terrorists have gone for a mid to B push here. Um, uh, both MX and Release on the B bomb site getting surrounded. Now Darty knows that one of the CTs will be coming CT spawn. Actually, no, he doesn't. But now he does because he's uh, seeing a few bullets flying out there. But he's only on 23 HP. It's currently five versus two. What can Husey and Rattlesnake do? Let's take a look at Rattlesnake. He obviously has an AWP. He's uh, pretty much surrounded, but. Rattlesnake more than often can pull something out of the bag. And he's all by himself. Can he grab that one kill? Misses the shot. Can he grab that other kill? No, he cannot. And uh, that is the end of the first half. 8 7 to an Nexus. Not sure whether or not they'll be uh, pleased with it. But um, I know I expected an Nexus to have a higher score. But I think they'll get the job done on T side because most British teams are, are stronger on T side on Dust 2, to be fully honest. I mean, and like we said before, you can't really argue with this Nexus team. It's got the likes of Rattlesnake, used to play for Mouse Sports, Epsilon, MX, Mouse Sports as well, Hudgy G, MTW, Dignitas, Release, FM Toxic, MTW as well, I think. And um, he played uh, alongside Hudgy G for a while at MTW, and Husey used to play for Mouse Sports and Isahara as we uh, prepare for this second half. Here on DDoS 2. And there is the swap. So, it'll be interesting to see what an X is do on this pistol round. Obviously, we'll take a, a quick look at it here. I think we'll probably see smokes going down mid. Rattlesnake is going to be pushing down mid. And it looks like Embrace know what an are going to do there. Embrace have no one on the A bomb site. And uh, it looks like NXs are going to push B anyways, so... Actually, no, they're going lowers. I think they're going to go lowers to mid to B. And if you ask me, I think Embrace know exactly what NXs are going to attempt to do here. And Embrace with two quills. Decent with the third down goes release. However, Husey does have the bomb, I think. He does, and he's going to go and plant on A, so... Goes to show anything can happen. And Husey makes his way onto the A bomb site. And so does MX, but he has been spotted. MX gets one kill onto Popper. MX gets two. And he will probably hold short now. And what was a 5 versus 2 is quickly turned into a 3 versus 2. And I think that's why we all love Counter Strike. The bomb is down in Nexus. MX is going to hold the A bomb site. Probably shouldn't be peeking at the moment. Husey is going to hold long. Down goes MX. Godlike knows where Husey is. Husey gets a kill. Husey gets a second. Husey gets a third. How does he do it? I don't know. But that requires hours and hours of deathmatch practice. But, um, you know, a Nexus. 5 against 2. Obviously, 3. Three players to the worst, and Husey comes huge with the Glock there, takes out three Embrace players, and Embrace have no idea what just hit them as Husey absolutely annihilated them on the A-bomb site at long. So, fair play, Husey, well played. And that will be a, a three-man, I think it could have been a four-man, because I think he got a kill. Um, a Glock round that he'll be proud of. So, uh, the terrorists, despite losing the opening round, do have SMGs. They've made their way onto the B-bomb site, onto the A-bomb site, sorry, again. I'm not quite sure what Embrace are doing. I mean, it looked like it was going to work from the first round. They seem to be sticking together. Um, a killer piece at the moment. Darty takes down Release. Pop takes down MX. And Hughes can hear them all making their way onto short. So, Rattlesnake is going to be looking to plant the bomb. It's uh, currently 3 versus 3. As Rattlesnake prepares for this influx of counter terrorists, making their way onto short, but however, he's more than prepared and takes Darty down, and it's all Pop by himself. And down goes Pop, and great round by Anexus. So, obviously, Anexus need 16 to win, MR15. If they get 16 rounds, then no matter how many rounds Embrace get, they're not going to get more than 16. The maximum they can get is 14. So, uh, <clears throat> Embrace obviously on an eco, lost two rounds in a row, probably buy up M4's next round, let's see what the uh, T's are doing, looks like a quick short push, Rattlesnake making his way onto short, takes down one, Darty swaps the kill, OGG now trying to break through onto short, however looks like he's going to fall back, now uh, we kept seeing Embrace players on B, now we see no one on B, we see everyone on A, so I'm not quite sure what Embrace are doing, however the bomb is outside long, so we'll probably see MX perhaps making his way onto short flashing over there, and then these guys will probably eventually push long, and uh, unfortunately Embrace have no one watching it, so it could end up being an issue, uh, an issue for them, and that is actually what we're going to see, I think MX is just playing at mid, 
make his shots. And he's actually going to get pushed now. Let's see what's going to happen with him. He's actually falling back to long, and they will spot him going long. But um, Embrace, uh, not sorry, Embrace, and Nexus will obviously get there first. MX with the AK takes down, takes down none. Thought he would take down one. So it's four against three, but um, and Nexus probably have more hit points combined, so let's see what happens, and obviously better guns, however, Godlike did pick up MX's AK-47, Godlike takes down release, where are we, as the TTs make their way up long, 4 versus 2 now, Hudgy G takes down Darty, Hudgy G takes down Godlike, and Husey takes down Pop, and there goes Decent, almost forgot about Decent, unfortunately not a very decent round for him, and 11-7, uh, 2 in Nexus, Husey probably drops that SMG, in search of an AK-47, and this will be the first proper round of this second half. Obviously, CTs buying their M4s, their AWPs, more tasty, tasty magical guns. As a flash goes over long, looks like Nexus might try to take long here. Hivelar takes down Hoodgg for the first of this round. MX backs out, gives the bomb back, and I don't think Nexus are going to be putting their foot in long again. Other than obviously Huzo, who uh, unfortunately is sort of stuck there at the moment. I think he might try to. Make his way back, or might just play for time. As we take a look at what is actually going on here, Hughes has stayed at long again. Embrace, embrace, not really holding their position, really. It's sort of pushing around as a whole as they take down MX and release. Which leaves Hughes and Rattlesnake by themselves. Rattlesnake running away, throws that nade, throws that flash. Sorry, however, he's being chased down. Hughes, however, comes from behind, takes down High Block. Rattlesnake goes down to Godline. Hughes is by himself. Does he have the bomb? I have no idea. No, he doesn't. The bomb is down at top mid, so uh, he's going to make his way onto short. However, actually, no, he's making his way CT spawn. So we have one player on short. You'll most likely hear him. We're going to have Cupad um, de decent. Actually, down mid, he's actually already spotted Hughes. So uh, the lad on short will most likely drop down and take care of the business. But then again, no rush for the CTs really. I think their main aim now is to make sure Husey does not save that AK-47. And to try and hinder Nexus's economy as much as possible. And to be fully honest, that was a uh, a colossal round for Embrace because if they had lost that one then I think Nexus would have gone on to win at least the next two rounds because Embrace would have had to either eco or deco once again. So talking about the money system, which we haven't spoken about in quite a bit, actually let's take a look at Darty. He's dropped down, he knows Husey is somewhere near B, I think. Uh, it looks like they're going to let Husey actually save his weapon. Fair enough, you don't want to mess with Husey when he's got his AK-47 in his hands. And no time to talk about the money system now, as uh, this round will start off once again. So, quite an interesting tactic being employed by Embrace, if you want to call it a tactic, more of an approach really, where they're, let's see what they are doing, I think they're sending too long, and they're keeping one on short, and then one B and one mid, which is really what we're used to seeing, but then they're sort of all jumbling up in mid, and sort of holding it by themselves, but it, and pushing pushing up mid, and causing pro all sorts of problems for Anexus, and dearie me, anyways, Anexus obviously brought up some players on Galil, some players on AKs, but it looks like they're going to do a typical mid to B push, Darty takes down Hunter G, but they've obviously all spotted them there, they've spotted the bomber there, Pop on B ramp, gets killed by uh, MX as he returns a favour after Hughes' teammate, Hughes was killed, down goes Decent, to the uh, Galil of Rattlesnake, and it's 2v2, so uh, Godlike with the M4, Hyvant with the up. Oh. So, uh, you know, retaking bomb sites is always tough with orps, but obviously we've seen what Hyvelant is capable of so far this game. Rattlesnake gets that first kill, and next is his Hyvelant make his way through window, and the MX had it covered. And Rattlesnake, I think, got a four man perhaps there, maybe a three man. I'm not sure. The next is so far slaughtering Embrace, slicing them so far. And, uh,. We see another buy round from the CTs. As the T's look to be wanting to go long. Embrace changing their approach a bit. Sort of stacking B now with Decent and Popbo playing B. Hivelant playing mid. Swedish host and Cupad now. And Godlike. Why am I saying Cupad? Making their way onto short. So double stacking short. Obviously, it's changing a lot by Embrace. They're making a lot of noise. So that's not really helping their case against the likes of Inexis. But uh, let's see what happens. As it looks like the T's are going to try a mid to push, uh, mid, a mid to B push or a short push. Rattlesnake the bomber makes his way onto short, takes down 
Darty. Godline takes down 100D. Rattlesnake with his second. He's playing very well with that AK-47 at the moment. Spots that last CT on the um, A bomb site. Avalon takes him down. Release returns the favor. And now it's three versus two. And Decent and Pop both of M4s will be rotating. Now MX wipes out Decent. Pop takes out MX with a bullet to the face. And now it's Pop versus both Release and Hughes. And this won't be easy by any means. So let's see what Pop can pull out the bag here. It's been needed, but it's only damaged him by three health. He spotted release. He's shooting. Release is just taking his time. No rush, really. He's being shot at now. He, he even gets taken out with a bullet to the face from uh, release. Obviously, I think he got flashed there and then tried to jump back onto short, but couldn't do it very successfully because of the uh, bricks in the way. But nonetheless, looking good for an exit so far. See, they started off being 4-0 down in the first round, but they've managed to turn it around. That's probably what we'd expect from a team of their calibre. And, oh, this is going to be interesting. All the Nexus players going B and all the Embrace players pushing long. So, um, I don't think I need to explain what the problem was here. So, Embrace have obviously now made their way into T-Sport. Notice, hang on a second, guys, no one's here. So, uh, they will start. They're all making their way into lowers. Okay, Hudji G might get taken out here. Let's see what Hudji G can do. Hudji G hears them all. Takes down one, takes down two, takes down three. And MX actually got two of the kills. Got three of the kills. Hudji G with one. Hudji G, MX actually got four of the kills. Can't keep him up. Shooting kills, deaths left, right, and center at the moment for an Exodus. Making it look easy. And let's be fully honest, Embrace not really, you know, doing themselves a lot of favors as an Exodus are pretty much slaughtering them and eradicating them off DDoS 2 at the moment. So an Exodus need one more round to really secure the draw here. Release making his way down to lowers. The CT lineup. Typical 1 and B, 1 mid, release and Rattlesnake and Husey all getting on the score sheet which leaves Embrace with only two players. Embrace decent, holding B. He's going to rotate towards mid pop. He's heard a lot mid, he's flashed. And it looks like Anexus will do a short push. Rattlesnake and Co have been spotted on catwalk. Pop making his way behind them. The bomb hasn't gone down yet. MX has made his way into B, so could get that frag on to decent, and as he does. And Pop, will he save now? Will he go for it? Hudzi G is pushing him. Hudzi G takes him out. Good shot, son. And uh, down goes Pop. And uh, Nexus, like I said before, expected them to be stronger on T side, especially after warming up and all that against, you know, they are the better team. And uh, they've shown that. But fair play to Embrace. Eight rounds, you, you know, not too bad. And really, Embrace are at a point now where they just got to bite everything they can. There's no point in decoing. They've got to, you know, they need this round to stay in the game pretty much. And um, funnily enough, they have no one in B. And Anexus have made their way into B. So uh, fair play to Anexus. They've probably sussed out that, that Embrace are going to buy up everything they can. However, it is still 4 on 4. So anything can happen. Embrace, Godlike, just have an SMG. Takes down Rattlesnake. So uh, they do have the man advantage at the moment. Release, Husey, Animex alive. Godlike and... Um, Decent rotating through lower tunnels. We've got three CTs coming through lower tunnels. Let's see what the T's can do here. Can they defend this? MX gets taken down. Down goes release. And Embrace might actually pull this one out the bag. And they have. Um, they bought everything they could. And um, despite Anexus getting the early plant. Due to no Embrace players being on the B bomb site. Which, uh, you know, again is questionable. I think we can question a lot of... What Embrace have done on this CT side so far. Obviously, what they did was they sent. I don't think they sent anyone beat. My memory serves me correct. And uh, Anexus just hit them. But but now that this means that Embrace can buy basically. So <coughs> it'll be interesting to see what 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 happens. The short boost for Hive Lant. MX moves his way into low. It gets taken down by Darty. Darty also takes down Release. And uh, Darty's definitely got his shooting hat on today. Pop takes down Hudzi G. Hivelan takes down Rattlesnake and let's see where this last Nexus player is. It's Hughes making his way back outside to Long. Obviously the bomb's down. He wants to pick it up but he might have made noise picking up that nade there. Actually no he didn't. Takes down Pop just about. He is going to be pushed by a few more CTs. But Hivelan takes him out. And Embrace uh, run a two round winning streak now so uh, we are seeing Nexus. Nexus are going to buy up, so I think they'll want to win this game, you know, try and get this uh, game over and done with, more or less. 
Kind of like they're gonna go release an MX and Hunter G and Hughes. Hughes with the bomb. Also gonna make their way into lowers, I think. Hughes might stay uppers. And Brace as well changing their CT lineup. It's not very easy to guess what they're doing at the moment, but if they know what they're doing, and it looks like they've uh, got somewhat of a clue what they're doing for the past two rounds, then fair play to them, it works. So, look what what is happening. MX, Hoodie G, Huzi, and a release in upper tunnels. Rattlesnake just causing havoc by himself outside Long trying to Probably make noises trying to keep this godlike fella busy. And the smokes have gone out. On this mid to B, Hudgy G takes down Pop as they make their way into B. It's probably one more CT. There is one more CT in there. Hudgy G takes down Decent. MX takes down Darty. Two versus four. Can uh, Embrace pull another round out of the hat? Probably not, but um, if they do, they'll live to fight another day. MX takes down Godlike prior to taking down Hivelon. And that is the end of the game. And the final score, I think, was 16 10. Anyways, my memory is terrible at the moment, and um, thanks for watching the Nexus TV, guys.